Now here's a box joint jig I've started to build. Uh, there's nothing really critical about it. Uh, I've got uh, two runners here about 12 inches long. The baseboard is 13 by uh, 7 inches. Okay, then on the front here, I've got a board here. It's uh, 13 long. Sets up 3 inches. A couple of supports here on the side. Got a 2x4 here in between just to raise this up give us some rigidity I put a stop on here it's just a piece of 2 by 4 notched out so that when I uh, slide it back it'll hit the uh, front of the table right here and stop it So, like I say, there's nothing really critical about this. You can make it any size you want. And then uh, there's a carriage. The carriage is nothing but a, a board here that's, uh, let's see, I made it eight inches long, seven quarter high. It'll fit on like so. There's another piece here that's an uh, inch and three quarter wide, eight inches long. Then there's a, uh, a fence here that your work will slide up against. That fits on like so. The only thing is on the carriage on the bottom here you want uh, just a little bit of clearance so it doesn't rub on the table. And once you get that made then you uh, bring uh, this edge over e even with the uh, the side support here drill a hole for a pin a pin I've got a nail in here uh, the only thing really critical on this is this pin has to be the same width as the curve on your saw blade. Now I've got a real thin curve blade on here. It's only 70 thousandths. So I found a nail that's 70 thousandths. Uh, since I'm going to be making small box joints, usually a quarter of an inch, maybe three eighths, maybe one eighth. Okay, once you get that nail in there, or that pin, then you uh, slide it over all the way, and you run a small uh, curve here, right here, and then uh, you take your square, Put it up to the left of that curve and you glue this fence on. Okay, that is really the only uh, critical part though is the width of this, uh, this pin. Now this is as far as I've gotten so far with it. I didn't film it. I started to film part of it and I screwed it up. So anyway, we'll, uh, we'll go from here. There isn't much left to do, actually. 
there's some uh, blocks that will go in here it will determine the width of your joints I'm gonna cut some quarter inch stock and put in here uh, they'll be about uh, inch and three quarter high and about an inch wide like little dominoes that'll sit in here that's what I've got to get into next now uh, I went ahead and I ripped uh, three pieces of quarter inch plywood they're uh, 24 inches long now I want to cut these down into uh, one and uh, five-eighths length so I'll uh, I got a stop set up here one and five-eighths and uh, we'll go ahead and cut these off Okay, now I got uh, all the uh, little quarter inch blocks cut, a couple filler blocks, three quarter here on the end. Uh, now I've got to take all these, sand them and remove the burrs off of them. So that'll be the next step. So I'll use the belt sander, take these, remove the burrs. I've got all my uh, blocks here deburred. Now I've got to have a way to put some little tension on these. So I'm going to drill a hole in here uh, for a quarter 20 bolt. And uh, That should do the trick. I've got a 730 seconds drill and we'll drill a hole in there. And then we'll uh, Take this quarter 20 bolt, thread it in there.
Okay, now put my other two blacks in there. We just want it to be snug. Don't really want to crank in on this. Just so they're snug. Now, the way this will work, is, when you set this up, Start over here, let's say we want a quarter inch dados in there, so we'll stand up every other block. Over uh, as far as we need to go. I can do oh, wrong one. I can do a uh, 1 by 10 on here. I could even go wider if I flip the board over. But just to give you an idea of what's happening here. Several advantages to this type of a setup. Okay, and that makes up your comb. All right, now. Take the uh, top piece, put them on here, and that will allow your quarter inch movement, if I get it in the camera, moves back and forth a quarter inch to cut the first dado, then you simply lift this up and move them back and forth cutting your dado, go to the next one, and go to the next one, and so on. Now if you want to do the mating side, the offset side, you can either put one of these blocks in on this fence, or you have the option of uh, just take all these blocks and reverse them. Put the first one standing up, the second one down, third one up, fourth one down, so on. And you, then you can just slip your other board in there and do the dados on those. Now we can also put like two up, two down, two up, two down, and that'll give us a half inch. Or three up, three down, three up, three down will give you a three quarter inch. And one nice feature about this is you can even stagger them. You could have two up, two down, three up, three down, two up, two down, three up, three down, or four up, two down, four up, two down, so on and so forth. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. Now I've run a couple of test pieces here. Uh, seem to work pretty nice. Now we'll check him and uh, see what we've got.
And there you go. Beautiful. It is a little loose. Now, I think my pin might be a wee bit too small. Let's see what we've got here. Slide it one way. I measure Hmm. Okay, that's on zero, and if I let it slide over the other way, it's reading about minus 12, minus 13,000. So that tells me. My pin needs to be about 12 thousandths bigger than what it is. And that's no biggie. All I have to do is take this pin here and remove it. Find one that's about 10, thou, 10 to 12 thou uh, bigger. Put that in there. And we should be in business. All right, now I've got a piece in here. We'll set up a test piece and give it a go. That's one. Okay, I uh, got the other piece in there. Put a quarter inch spacer in there. One of, one of my little uh, domino spacers. And then we'll run the other piece.
Okay, now we'll uh, check the fit on these. Perfect. Look at that. It's even on both sides. They protrude just slightly. Good fit. Not too loose, not too tight. Beautiful. That completes the uh, video on the box joint jig. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.